Hello peoples! In today's video we are going to finish up using our Avenger Titan and we're going to do a little bit of hammerhead hunting in it just like the title suggests. So we've changed out our weapons and what we're going to have is a size 4 fix salvation distortion scatter gun on the front nose and two size 3 fix predator ballistic scatter guns one on each wing. They will be overclocked. For the shields, we're going to keep the same thing that we've had throughout all the testing, which is an FR-66 and a Palisade. And the power plant's going to stay the same too, with the Dynaflux, as well as the coolers, two snow blinds. The power plant and shields are all overclocked as well. A link for this build will be in the video description. If you like what you see in the video, then check it out. Give it a try in-game. Come back here, leave a comment, let us know what you liked, what you didn't like, if it worked for you, if it didn't work, if you're going to change it so that other people can learn from your experience. As usual, sit back, relax, grab a drink, a snack. I'm gonna do nachos again, cause I'm on a nacho kick. And let's see how we do in the video. So as you can see, no problem taking out the hammerhead with the Avenger Titan. Some FYI facts for you. The Salvation Distortion Scatter Gun has a range of 1,528 meters with a projectile speed of 1,273 meters per second. That pairs up with our Predator Ballistic Scatter Gun with a range of 1,508 meters and a speed of 1,005 meters for the projectile. Did you catch out the new distortion effects on the shields from the Predator scatter gun there? That, I thought that was pretty cool, the little electrical effects going off. If you didn't, keep watching. You'll see it again. Right now, we're going to deal with these two little ads that we got that came in. Make sure that our weapons are effective against them as well. And uh, continue on. Well, as you can see with the scatter guns, we didn't have any problem taking out either the Valkyrie or the Vanguard in that. 
Uh, so we're going to repeat this by taking on yet another hammerhead and see how we do. Make sure we can re repeat our results. That way we know that the build is solid and that it works. And just a little tip, whenever possible, you should always try to get out of the asteroid or debris field that you're in and fight in clear space, at least as much as possible. I cannot tell you how many times I have tried to avoid incoming fire only to crash into the side of an asteroid out of left field. It's not fun. Don't let it happen to you. Well, there you go. No issues taking out the second hammerhead or the adds along with it. I would say the combination of distortion and ballistic scatter guns on the Avenger Titan is a winner. Definitely seems to work really well with the maneuverability that this ship brings uh, to the field. So, let me know your thoughts on the ships and the weapons used in the comments section below. Do you like it? Do you hate it? If you do hate it and you're not going to use it, well, what builds are you going to run? Because we like to have that discussion. If you like the video, you know the drill too. Please hit the like button, the notification bell, and subscribe to the channel. And before we go, it looks like we're going to check out this Drake Caterpillar that just popped in for some weird, strange reason. We'll give it a scan and uh, see what's on board. Maybe we can salvage it. Nope. Looks like it's got a pilot. Hmm. I guess they were just here enjoying the view while I killed that hammerhead. Anyways, as always, if you're new to Star Citizen, you can use the link and the referral code in the video description below to get 5,000 free UEC when you open a new account. As always, till next time, take care.